Euler's phi function. Here's the formula we learned in the last video for Euler's phi function. Now we're going to take a look at some examples. We want to evaluate phi of 28. So the first thing we need to do is find the prime factorization of 28, and it's 2 squared times 7. So phi of 28 is 28 times 1 minus 1 half times 1 minus 1 seventh. We get a factor for each one of the primes. So it's 28 times 1 half, and 1 minus 1 seventh reduces to 6 sevenths. And when you calculate that, you get 12. Example 2, p of 440. So again, we'll find the prime factorization of 440, which is 2 cubed times 5 times 11. So phi of 440 is going to be 440 times 1 minus a half times 1 minus a fifth times 1 minus 1 eleventh. And that simplifies to 440 times a half times 4 fifths, which is 1 minus a fifth, times 10 elevenths. And when you calculate that, you get 160. Example 3. Phi of 486. Prime factorization is 2 times 3 to the fifth. So phi of 486 is 486 times 1 minus a half times 1 minus 1 third. Simplifying a bit, that's 486 times a half times 2 thirds, which gives us 162. We'll do one more of these, and then we'll move on to the next subject. Phi of 7 factorial. So you want to find the prime factorization of 7 factorial. The hard way would be to multiply that all out. Let's just write out what 7 factorial is, and we notice that 7, 5, 3, and 2 are already primes. So we just have to factor the 6 and the 4 and collect up terms, and that is 2 to the 4th times 3 squared times 5 times 7. So phi of 7 factorial is given here. That simplifies to 7 factorial times 1 half times 2 thirds times 4 fifths times 6 sevenths. And when you calculate that out, you'll get 1,152. Euler's theorem. A and M are relatively prime, and then we know that A to the phi of M is congruent to 1 mod M. Example 5. Now we know that phi of 17 is 16, so 3 to the 16th power is going to be congruent to 1 mod 17. We want to use that to reduce 3 to the 5054. So 5,054 divided by 16 gives us 315 with a remainder of 14. So we can rewrite 3 to the 5,054. And then 3 to the 16th is congruent to 1. So 1 to the 3 15th is 1, and we're just left with this 3 to the 14th, which we can now calculate on our calculator, mod 17. So 3 to the 14th is given there. We want to divide it by 17. Then we'll subtract off the whole number part, 281,351. We've got the fraction part. And if we multiply back by 17, it'll give us the remainder of 2. So 3 to the 5,054 reduces to 2 mod 17. So the remainder is 2 when you divide by 17. Example 6. Now we want to find the last digit of the decimal expansion of 7 to the 1007. So this is really saying what's the remainder when you divide by 10. Decimal numbers are base 10. So we find phi of 10, which is 4. And we know that 7 to the 4th power is going to be congruent to 1 mod 10 then. 
So 7 to the 1007, we want to write as 7 to the 4th to some power. If you divide 4 into 1007, it goes in 251 times with a remainder of 3. And the 7 to the 4th is 1 by Euler's theorem. So we're just left with a 7 cubed. 7 cubed is 343. We reduce that mod 10 and we get 3. So 3 is the last digit in the decimal expansion of 7 to the 1007th. I hope that helps and you have a great day.